Okay, in a 45-45-90 triangle, the legs are congruent, okay? It's an isosceles triangle. So the legs are congruent. The symbol for congruent is an equal sign with a wavy thing, or you can write in the word congruent there. Congruent, okay? And then two of the angles are 45 degrees each. So they are 45 degrees or they are also congruent to each other, okay? So an iso we have an isosceles right triangle. So the angles measure 45, 45, and 90 degrees. Now let's use this triangle over here for our patterns. Okay, we're gonna label both of the legs, so these two congruent legs, we're gonna label those X and X, okay? And we're gonna label the hypotenuse with this rule, and this rule is always true. It's going to be x times the square root of 2, okay? So it's square root of 2 times x, and I'm actually going to write it as x square root 2 because that's how generally you write it, the coefficient in front of the radical. But for your little note-taking guide, you're going to take the square root of 2 times whatever value x is. And that's the rule, and that will always work. So if you know one leg, you label the other leg, and then you can label the hypotenuse by just multiplying it by the square root of 2. Now think about this, if you're given the hypotenuse, since you multiplied by the square root of 2 to, to get go from the leg to the hypotenuse, if you've got the hypotenuse, you're going to work backwards and you're going to divide by the square root of 2 to work it backwards. So let's look at the pattern given different information. So let's look first at the pattern down there. What if you're given a leg, okay? If your leg is 5, what can you do? Well, given the leg, we're going to label it x. So we know the other leg has to be also has to be 5. And then we're going to label the um, hypotenuse x square root 2. So we're going to, since x is 5, we're just going to plug a 5 in here and take 5 times the square root of 2. So that's simply how you find the hypotenuse given one of the legs. Label the, both the legs the same and then multiply it by the square root of 2. Okay, what if you're given the hypotenuse? Okay, so let's look at the second scenario. Let me draw this up. So you have 18 square root 2 here. And that's your hypotenuse. You're going to label this side x this side x, and the hypotenuse is x square root 2. So you're going to take 18 square root 2, and you're going to set it equal to x square root 2. Well, to get the x by itself, you're going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. So you're left with, ah, x is 18. Whoops. 18 equals x. So that means each of the legs is 18. So given the hypotenuse, you're going to divide by the square root of 2 to get the leg. But given the leg, you would multiply by the square root of 2 to get the hypotenuse. So those are the patterns.